in this structural context, where structure is always class structure. In this context of class domination, it is in this context that in modern society, everyone is interpelled, is addressed as free, equal, and rational. And it is this more complex uh, inter interpolation, this is a more complex interpolation than Althusser thought. This interpolation is always both from each to each and among all. All declare and program together we are free and equal. But this is an amphibological interpretation from above, from the dominant class. It means yeah, that is uh, that uh, that this free quality is actually given. You are free and equal, but from below, uh, it means that it must be, and we will, we, uh, that must be achieved. This metastructural relation, <coughs> or the relation between metastructure and structure, determine the antagonistic and revolutionary character of modern society. From this, the metastructural analysis, uh, another deficiency of equal importance appears in the Marxian construction concerning the world system. Market and organization are the two class factors combined into the class structure. There is nevertheless a metastructural asymmetry be between these two poles, i.e. a primacy of the each among all on the each to each. The things of the world are primarily the concern of all and everybody before anyone can decide he may dispose of whatever with another person. This is the Kantian thesis of an original communism, a logically original communism, which is secretly implied in the modern fiction, modern metastructure. And this means that this social structure, precisely as instrumentally instrumentation of reason, can only exist under the community form of a nation state under the ages of an allegedly 
concerted organizational last instance the states <coughs> no, by, not by chance yeah, capitalism always emerged in nation states that is the reason why capitalism emerges historically not as an empire but as a pluriversum of entities which had initially the size of the medieval city then growing with the technical uh, uh, development to that of conventional states today tending, today tending to continental scale. The peculiarity of the world system whole, by contrast with the class structure within the nation state is that it, doesn't, it does not pose the metastructural presupposition. Hobbes said already stressed that the states are mutually in a state of nature, i.e. in a state of war. We, we cannot simply distinguish between structure and system, between class structure in, in the nation state and world system. We can't simply dist distinguish between the part and the whole, between the fairly good national and the uh, inside and the bad international outside, the whole is imman imminent, inherent in the past. The modern nation state is always already perverted by the barbarity of the world system. The barbarity of the centers and the peripheries is inherent, inherent in the centers themselves. The necessary term of this historical trend is the world state. It emerged on the horizon as the ultimate geopolitical realization of this social logic of modernity. It is not to be understood uh, as a utopia we should achieve, but uh, as a historical social form which takes place slowly but irresistibly behind our backs. What emerges is indeed a territory which is the world, a, a population which is mankind, a law which is that of capitalism, perhaps. This global statal structure, still in gestation, is instrumented and for a long time by the capitalist forces of the central states which dominate the world system and tend to dictate their laws through uh, supranational institution. Then, what is looming on the horizon is an imperial global state, even if it, the tendency uh, to its uh, multipolarization modifies the balances. But it is a modern class state, and as such, an arena in which uh, the metastructural injection that Marx revealed in the first chapter of Book One can be constantly heard. Let us imagine an association of freemen possessing in common the means of production and so on. Still, of course, remains the problem to know what we can today, at the time of ecolo ecological destruction, what we, call, what we can call production, means of production, and if it is permanent, if the per pertinent question is that uh, of their ownership. Uh, 但是在现实生活中这个在这个两极之间是存在这种原结构的非对称性是怎么说呢就是说这个在所有在整体中的个体是主要的而那个一是对一是就个体对个体就是次要的就是说这种非对称性就表现在这里那么他又谈到紧接
呃，资本主义国家呢，总是以国家的形式存在，而不可能以就是，呃，以那个体系，就是一个世界体系的形式而存在。嗯、我看，接下来谈谈到，呃，这个世界体系的这个特殊性，在于它没有提出超，就是没有提出原结构的预设。嗯、然后他提到霍布斯。就是说，霍布斯强调国家就是那种属于那种自然那种状态，就是人与人之间是战争的状态。但是我们不能在，呃，简单的在这个结构和体系之间做出区分，在部分和整体之间做出区分。呃，在这种好的方面，就是国国国家之内和这种，呃，国际之间之间做出区分，因为这个整体就内在于这种部分。他他他提出一个观点，就是现在这个民族国家已经或者总是被这种世界体系的这种这种野蛮的这种残暴，就是给堕落了，就是被这个世界体系的这种呃残暴的这种不文明的这种给堕落了。嗯，就是对，就给带坏了的意思。世界体系是吗？对。对。然后他最后提出就是说，这个现在这个。呃，我们正在就是显现出来的这个世界体系，其实还是一个就是一个工具理性的，就是还是工正在运用的这种全球的这种结构是一种工具理性，对而且很长时间它都会被那个呃核心国家那种资本主义力量所统治。这就是这这就是他批判这个现在这种世界体系的那种就是那种国家体系。Thank you. Uh, I dropped the part of my books, yeah, uh, which are translated, being translated in in Chinese. All of them at the moment. Just last the, the, the last sentence, yeah. My current research, if you can see, after the book, my current research takes place in a nearly finished book entitled "Why Communism." The metastructural uh, hypothesis. I aim to verify the, this uh, metastructural hypothesis in the field of several disciplines, and therefore uh, also on more specific topics, which are politics today, history of modernity, and cultural theory. This research is oriented towards the elucidation. Of the concept of communism, conceived uh, as an alternative to both liberalism and, in some sense, uh, socialism, it fits uh, in the sense, uh, in this sense, in a debate now underway in Europe, illustrated by Badiou, Negri, Zizek, and uh, other eminent figures. But I consider this, que this question in my own grammar. You can那我现在的研究就是主要是在一个，就是将要完成的一本书中来进行。那么这本书的名字就是《为什么是共产主义：原结构的设想》。那么他就试图要就是在几个学科领域来证实这种原结构的设想。因此呢，就是在更为具体的一些题目上，呃，比如说呃政治历史，呃不，政治和今天的政治，还有现代性的历史，还有文化领域，这文化理论这几个。那么这个研究将就是，呃，目的就是为了澄清这个共产主义这个概念，把它作为取代自由主义和社会主义的一个呃选择方案。那么，嗯、呃，这个他他这本书呢，正好就是在某种意义上，正好就是跟现在非常欧洲非常流行的这个，由这个阿兰波阿兰巴蒂欧，还有内格里，还有齐泽克，还有其他一些。重要的人物所讨论的问题是一一样的。那么我呢，将考虑这个问题是用我自己的，用我自己的这种、呃、方法或逻辑来考虑这个问题。So write a book, yeah, why communism? <coughs>、uh, I, I want, I will only summarize a few points, following the same plan as in the first part of this paper, in order to illustrate how this concept can be used more concretely. Concretely, this、uh, new investigation on metastructure led me、uh, to apply the theory of modernity 
to the old question raised by Max, Ve Max Weber and the current debate about, uh, concerning uh, the modern and the Western. In reconstruction of historical materialism, the young Habermas presented the question on, of the emergence of modernity in an evolutionary perspective imbued with Western superiority. See the table given in appendix. If you want to escape from this trap, you must formulate an hypothesis endowed with a dual character, both historical, stating that something began somewhere at a given time, and generic, indicating that this something does not occur uh, as the term of an evolution of the species, but by an uh, unprecedented use of a common resource of humanity. That is, for example, exactly what both Adam Smith and Karl Marx do when they select and emphasize as being these asset essential research, the former, Adam Smith, the faculty of exchange, the latter, Marx, that of cooperation between free partners. They assume that these features belong to human nature, but each of them, each of them, Smith and Marx, defines <coughs> the new era by privileging one of them, either the free market, Smith, or the concerted organization, Marx, taken as the supposed vector of social contractuality of emancipation and progress. As for me, I claim that this generic resource is to be found below this, behind, below, uh, these two polar, polarly opposite figures of exchange and cooperation, below the mediation, below these two mediation, in the very discursive immediacy. I rely here on a further analysis of the same Habermas, which shows how communicative action with its, its triple requirement of truth, rightness, and of, uh, of authenticity, defines a situation in which partner recognize, recognize effectively each other as free, equal, and rational. Assuming that communicative action becomes the rule of common political practice, it would precisely meet the requirement of a social contract. Habermas aims to determine under uh, Habermas aims to determine under which condition such an objective could be achieved. As for me, I treat this paradigm quite differently. Ju I just put forward uh, the hypothesis that the characteristic of modernity would be to assume this claim of communicative action, of which the social uh, contract is the explicit, uh, explicit ideal formulation, would assume this claim as the official principle of social life and public institution. I resume the discursive contractual pattern which aims to link these two concepts, discourse and contract, but in a purely analytical context in order to identify the official reference which is characteristic of modernity. The presupposition posed by, by the modern form of society, by the modern class structure. What is declared in modernity beyond the contractual declaration, the official contractual declaration, is a discursive claim, the pretension of being a regime of discourse, of democracy, discursive democracy. <coughs> the consequence of this parag paradigmatic uh, configuration I propose is, I think, considerable. For thus understood, understood in that way, <coughs> 
the modern contractual claim is linked to this universal ex experience common to, your, to all humans of a presupposed universal experience common to all humans of a supposed communicative relationship. It is therefore not surprising that all humans become so quickly modern when the opportunity is given. They are already endowed with the principle of modernity, all enjoying the same experience of some supposed communicative interaction. 